Hey everybody, I wanted to give you an update on how personal training is going. I did my NIDA certification about a year ago and I finally um, got the ball rolling and started doing demos and I have some clients now. So of course I'll be very careful about their personal details to pr provide privacy for them but I just wanted to talk about the experience and what I do now, what the job is actually like. So a um, little bit about my background. I'm a yoga teacher and I got into group fitness through sort of the yoga path and then I took my personal training certification and so I'm um, trying to find clients who want to improve their flexibility and balance and just overall health kind of using my yoga my strength as a yoga teacher um, and so I have I have found a few clients and I wanted to talk about how uh, the first few weeks as a personal trainer has been because it really it literally has only just been a few weeks since I started actually working with clients so um, I guess the first thing we did was you know I just I met with my boss and we went over a, a demo session and she kind of talked me through all the paperwork and what what you have to do to get a person like kind of onboarded as a new client and that was a little surprising to me like there are a lot of forms, a lot of papers to fill out, a lot of like waivers to sign and you need to make sure that they've been cleared medically to exercise and start getting their heart rate up and stuff like that. It's actually really important to have that liability waiver because um, starting exercise if you're not an active individual can be um, it can be slightly dangerous. I mean, it's possible that you could, um, if you start exercising too abruptly, too quickly from going from like a sedentary lifestyle to super active uh, cardiovascular exercise, you could have a heart attack. <laughs> so you have to um, be careful about that and do some paperwork. So and that's something we learned a lot about in our training and something that we make sure that our clients understand that they are accepting the responsibility for this risk that, you know, if I start exercising and making the changes I want to make that I'm taking the responsibility that maybe I could possibly get hurt, you know, you could get injured, but also there's the, there's the heart risk and, um, breathing risk and that sort of thing. So, so we just want to make sure everything's all good with their bodies before we start an exercise program and make sure they know that we, um, we are not doctors, <laughs> you know, so we're just recommending some exercise, but, um, we're not really specialists in the medical stuff, so they need to check with the doctor if they've got any issues that they're concerned about um, with exercise. Anyway, so there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of scheduling and communication, and that's something that for me, just generally in my life as an individual, scheduling is something I struggle with. I always have. I mean, I'm the person who spaces that, I, like, I can still remember when I was, like, 12 or 13 years old, like being in my backyard swimming pool when parents came to pick me up to babysit their children. And I was like, oh, I mean, I'm available to babysit. I was going to babysit. I totally forgot I'm in my swimsuit. Ah, hang on a second. Let me jump out. And anyway, I digress. But I'm just saying that like when I schedule something, I often space out and forget it. And that's that's been a challenge that, you know, I've worked to overcome. But in any case, personal training is a lot of scheduling because you have to schedule every client for half an hour or 60 minutes and you have to organize your schedule along with their schedule and there's a lot of back and forth whether by email or texting and so you have to kind of figure out how to negotiate those schedule arrangements without making it really annoying and long and drawn out. So my boss had some really good advice for that. She said, give them two or three times that work for you in your schedule and let them pick from that. That's a lot more concrete than let me know what works for you. Give, you know, tell me when you want to come. So giving them very specific time slots as uh, available appointments is, has been very helpful. 
um, in that communication process. So, um, anyway, so the way it works, at least where I work at the YMCA is everybody who's a member at the YMCA gets a free demo with a personal trainer. And if they request a demo, then, you know, they get to come and for free, they work with us for 45 minutes. And about 15 minutes of that is all this paperwork that we have to sign. Even before just doing a demo session, we have to get them to sign the waiver and agree to accept liability and risk for starting exercise with me and then um, and then we do like uh, just a little session a, a kind of sampler if you will where we do um, 30 minutes of exercise together and get to know each other and kind of find out what their goals are and why they want a personal trainer to help them and learn about any injuries or um, specific things that they'd like to learn more about and that sort of thing so it's kind of a get to know you session it's it's get to know you in both directions because every personal trainer has their specialties. Like I'm really good at yoga. I'm really good at balance. I'm really aiming to work with like active older adults and people who are new to exercise because I'm, I'm really patient. I'm really gentle and I'm really encouraging. And I, those I feel like are strengths for a certain kind of client, but other people would find it really annoying that I can't kick him in the butt. And so, you know, you have to get to know your trainer and the trainer has to get to know you, you know, the client. So it's kind of a, let's see if we're a good match for each other, a good personality match. Does my style and the kind of things that I would have you do as a personal trainer work for what you want in, in your sessions? Um, anyway, so that's what the demo session is like. And that's a free 45 minute session. And hopefully that goes well. And some people, they just want a demo session because it's free and they're like, Hey, cool. I'd love to meet a personal trainer and find out a little bit about it or learn how to exercise, but they're not interested in signing up for sessions. And that's great. We can give them some tips about, you know, how to plan their own exercise or teach them a little bit more about the, the, group classes that are free and all of that, you know, what the YMCA has to offer. Um, but if they do want to sign up for sessions at the end of our demo, we kind of walk them to membership and get the forms filled out and have them pay. And, and then we get them on the schedule right away. So, um, I have so far been able to do that with two clients and I have one, uh, client who I've had three sessions with and, um, this particular client, their main focus and goal is to become more flexible. And so that's been really uh, rewarding. We've only worked together four times. We've had the demo session and three sessions, but we're already seeing a lot more freedom of movement and the restrictions and pain and difficulty. It's, it's slowly but surely starting to change. And that's really exciting. Um, and, uh, you know, every person has their own goals. So I think the really neat thing as I'm getting used to this and, and finding out what it means to be a personal trainer, the cool thing is that it's personal. Every single person that I work with will have a different exercise plan. Every single person that I work with is going to have individual goals, individual limitations, and priorities that, that are completely different from the next person. And we can totally customize it. And that's really fun for me. And it's really fun for me to think about specifically, okay, you know, we really need to loosen up these knees and get more flexibility. Let's do some stretches that really focus on the legs around the knees, in the hips, and give you a little more mobility. Ability. I love that so much. Um, and I think it's, it's going to be a really rewarding job. I hope that as I get better at it and more confident at it, that I'm able to gain a client base and make this something that I do many hours of the week and develop lots of personal relationships with people. So, um, if you have any questions about the beginning of my journey as a personal trainer, um, or if you have any questions about the NIDA certification process, I did a video or two about that, and there really is nothing. There's nothing about the National Exercise Trainers Association for some reason. There are a lot of other organizations that are more popular, and there are a lot of videos about them. But if you want a little bit more information about NIDA specific training and um, like what that looks like, what the certification program was, um, I can I talked a little bit about how I studied. I could talk a little bit more about good ways to prepare for the exam and pass the exam um, and all of that. So 
anyway, just let me know what you want to know more about. I'd love to talk about it. And I know this is totally different than what I usually do, like the music, um, piano lesson stuff that I do on my channel. So this is kind of a, it's like another facet of my life, something that I haven't been as like active on YouTube about, but, um, I would love to share more about this journey if anybody would like to hear about it. And I, Sometimes I just like to turn on my video and start chatting about things. So happy to answer any questions that you have.